let's start them. Um, hey guys, thank you very much for watching the live stream or watching the video if you're watching the recording. Uh, today I have an ambitious plan because within the next five or ten minutes I will try to give you a list of documents which are needed for all the different visa or residence permit types that exist in the Czech Republic. It might seem a bit ambitious or unreal or like that there is not enough time or something or it's too complicated but actually that might not be that bad because most of the requirements are similar for all the visas and there are just a few things with, with uh, which <laughs> there are just a few things which vary dependent on the visa so I'll go through the general uh, requirements then I will get to, get to the specifics of each visa and then I will also give you like detailed information of what the document should look like and what you should definitely not forget. So let's go through that. Uh, let me give you a list of documents which are basically required for any type of, I'm talking about long-term visas or long-term residence permits. So number one is an application form. There is always an application form. They might come in all different sizes and shapes and colors and everything from the white ones for a long-term visa to blue ones for a blue card to green ones for long-term residence permits or employee cards. There, there might be different, but there is always an application form. Then uh, you need to have a valid passport. The passport cannot be older than 10 years. In most cases must have at least two blank pages and the validity should be for uh, at least three more months after your planned expiration of the visa. So if you want to get a visa for one year, the passport should be valid for at least one year and three months, ideally a bit longer because the visa approval process will take some time. So if your visa is valid for one and a half years, then three months uh, takes the approval process and then you get the visa, then it will be perfect for one year. So yeah, at least one and a half years of validity on the, on the passport is recommended. So application form, passport, then two passport size photos. Sometimes you just need one, sometimes you need two, but there are always passport size photos. They always must be the standard size of 3.5 to 4.5 centimeters, and it must have a white background or light gray background. I've seen uh, photos with like, uh, damn guys, I'm shooting this at one o'clock at night, so <laughs> probably my brain is a bit tired. So I've seen, for example, in India that there are uh, red backgrounds or some countries have blue backgrounds on the photos that's not accepted by the Ministry of Interior, by the Czech Republic. So you always must have white or light gray background. So application form, passport, uh, passport size photos. Then you always need a proof of accommodation. So you need to have a place to live in the Czech Republic. For long-term visas, it's specifically important because the validity of the visa can be shortened based on the validity of your proof of accommodation. So if you're applying for a year-long visa, uh, for example, as a student or a business owner, whatever, family reunification, but you only provide proof of accommodation for half of the, of the year, then the visa will be shortened accordingly. So you will not get the visa for a full year, but you will get it only for six months or four months or whatever is left when the visa is approved. So proof of accommodation is very important for long-term visas. For long-term residence permits, it doesn't really matter, but it should be valid at least during the whole approval process. So if you're applying for an employee card, a blue card, or any type of residence permit, basically, the accommodation should be valid at least for the duration of the approval process. Uh, I did another video about virtual proof of accommodation. If you're not looking for a real flat, but uh, just considering the, the virtual proof, I will share the link somewhere here and uh, yeah, check it out. <laughs> uh, so application form, passport, passport size photos, proof of accommodation, proof of funds. Proof of funds is basically required for all uh, visas or residence permit, uh, permits besides the ones related to employment. So if you are applying for a seasonal work visa or for employee card or blue card, uh, then you don't need to prove your funds because the proof of your income will be your employment contract and your job. So you don't need to prove any, any income. 
but uh, for all the other types of visas like business, students, other family reunification, you always need to prove that you either have enough money in your bank account that generally applies to long-term visas or that you have uh, high enough monthly income which generally applies to long-term residence permits. Uh, students can choose if they want to prove their income or their uh, balance on the bank account for the residence permit. So application form, passport, passport size photos, proof of accommodation, proof of funds, and then what changes for most of the different visa types and residence permit types is the documents on the purpose of your stay. Because those are the documents which will basically determine if you get the visa or not. Because if you're applying for a student visa, then the purpose of your stay is studies. So you need to prove that you will be studying. Okay, so you need to have an admission letter to a university or like a contract with a, with a university or a high school. Uh, you always need to prove the, the, the purpose of your stay. If you're applying for a business visa, then the proof of uh, your purpose of stay will be your trade license plus a business plan plus uh, maybe a website for the business or depending on your, on your business story some additional documents on top of the trade license or the, the SRO company, the limited liability company. If you're applying for an employee card, blue card, anything related to employment, then the proof of your purpose of stay will be your employment contract. If you're applying as a family member, a uh, family reunification, then the purpose of your stay will be uh, your marriage certificate if you're a spouse or your birth certificate if you're a child of someone already living in the Czech Republic. For parents, uh, it would be a bit more complicated, but it would be also like the first birth certificate uh, of you probably showing that they are your parents. Um, yeah, for other purpose of stay, it depends on, on what exactly you want to do. If the other purpose of stay goes for studies, that you study some private university, for example, then again, you would need to prove that you've been enrolled into some of the, the courses. So application form, passport, passport size photos, proof of accommodation, proof of funds, documents on the purpose of your stay. Then you always need to pay some fee at the embassy when you're submitting the application. The amount varies on the embassy and the type of the, the visa or residence permit you're applying for, but you always need to pay some uh, fee. Then, what else? Yeah, then the then criminal check. Uh, unless you are a minor, so unless you are a child below 15 years of age, then you always need to prove uh, your innocence. <laughs> you need to prove your innocence. No, you, no, you need to provide a criminal check from the country of your origin and from all the countries where you have lived longer than three months in the last ah, sorry guys it's it's too late <laughs> I, i'm i still know what i'm talking about but it, it's getting too late so you need to provide a criminal check from the country of your origin and from all the countries where you have lived longer than six months in the last three years so let's say if you are an indian but you live in um, emirates then you need to provide proof of uh, like a criminal check from India, so the PCC, and the same criminal check from Emirates as well. Or if you're American but you live in China, then you need to prove uh, or you need to provide a criminal check from the US and from China. So I guess you, you get the point. And that's basically it. Then. In most cases, you also need to, but that only happens after the visa or residence permit is approved. You need to also provide a proof of having a health insurance. Um, you need to provide it in advance if you're applying at the territory of the Czech Republic. Um, usually for like uh, a residence permit or its extension, a long-term residence permit or its extension. Uh, so you need to provide the health insurance right away when you're submitting the application. But if you're submitting your application through an embassy, so you're submitting your first application, so first student visa, first business visa, first employee card, then you usually buy health insurance after the visa was approved or residence permit was approved, and you buy it for the given period of time. Usually the embassy tells you. In most cases, you need to cover the whole period of your stay. So if you get one, one year visa, then you need to buy health insurance for one year. Uh, if 
uh, but in some cases it's it's a bit different. But in 99% of cases you need to provide health insurance. We can help with that, of course, if you want. Uh, we now sell uh, PDZP because there is no other option for the for the comprehensive. We sell other companies like Maxima or Unica for uh, the short term visas, for example, or for the, the comprehensive, not the comprehensive, for the emergency care. Um, so if you need any help with that, let me know and we'll be happy to arrange it. But it's one of the requirements needed for basically all visa types. And I think that's it. Uh, application form, passport, passport size photos, proof of accommodation, proof of funds, documents on the purpose of your stay, criminal check, health insurance and fees. Yeah, so that's that's it. Now, what the documents should look like. So the documents always must be originals. So no copies, no scans, no printouts from your online banking or anything like that. You always must provide copies, uh, provide originals or notarized copies. But that means official copies done by a notary and ideally a Czech notary. So we do this, for example, with uh, the important documents like your marriage certificate or birth certificate because you obviously don't want to lose the original because if you give it to the embassy or give it to the MOI, you will lose it, you will never get it back. So we, in that case, we usually make a notarized copy of the document in the Czech Republic and then we deal with the rest of the, the requirements. So that's one thing, originals or notarized copies. Another thing is that all the documents which were issued outside of the Czech Republic must be either apostilled or super legalized. They, they must be notarized for an international use. So if you, for example, get a criminal check in India, <coughs> the PCC, Police Clearance Certificate, then before you can use it in the Czech Republic, you have to get it apostilled in India. So they will put an apostille sticker on the original document, and only after this is done, uh, you can use it for the immigration process. Uh, one step more complicated is a super legalization, which, for example, uh, the Czech Republic has this agreement with Canada from the standard countries which apply for visas. Uh, and that's uh, basically one step more complicated than the apostille. The apostille is basically just a sticker on the original document. So let's say you get a criminal check done. So you take it, usually it's the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of your country, they put a sticker called Apostille on the original document and then that's it. Uh, Apostille is, uh, the super legalization is one more, one step more complicated. So you get the original documents, let's say the criminal check from Canada, then you need to take it to one authority in Canada. So that's, let's say the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs again, they put a stamp there saying we confirm that this is a genuine Canadian document. And then you need to take this whole thing, so the original criminal check plus the stamp, to a Czech embassy in Canada, and they will so-called uh, super legalize it. So they will put another stamp there, another, another sticker called super legalization, and then this only legalizes the, the document for use in the Czech Republic. So originals, apostilled or super legalized, all of the documents must be translated into Czech officially, so it must be an official translation, it cannot be just like a Google translator or your friends translates it, uh, it must be a court approved translation with stamps and all the ribbons with Czech colors and everything. Uh, so all the documents must be translated. Of course not your passport, not, not your photos, uh, not documents like this, but all the other official documents like marriage certificates or criminal check, usually bank statements as well, those all need to be translated into Czech this official way. Of course, we can help with all the, all the things I've been talking about, so if you need any help with that, let me know. Uh, and the last thing is that all the documents must be fresher than 180 days. So if you have a criminal check, for example, and you got it seven months ago, it's already too old and you will need to get a new one. This is especially uh, important for people, for example, in India, India who are trying to get an appointment for submitting their application and they, they are trying, trying and they cannot get it. So in that case, it can happen easily that uh, you will be trying so long that the documents will expire and you need to get new ones. Obviously, this doesn't apply to your passport. It doesn't apply to your photos if uh, you haven't changed. 
Uh, if you are waiting for your appointment for 20 years, then you, you will probably need to get new photos, but if it's a couple of weeks, couple of months, you don't have to. Uh, it doesn't apply to marriage certificate or birth certificate because you will not get new ones, so they, they cannot be any, any fresher, but it applies to, to, to bank statements, criminal checks, uh, employment contract, for example, confirmation of your studies, everything related to, to that, uh, mainly to the purpose of your stay. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So originals or copies translated into Czech, apostille super legalized, not older than 180 days. So that's it. Uh, hopefully this was useful. If not, uh, drop a comment. I'll be happy to reply uh, or join the channel. Please guys consider joining the channel. Uh, you can pay some monthly fee and uh, based on the, the fee you pay, uh, if you have any questions, I will shoot videos specifically for you. It will be only in the members area, so no one else will see that you ask this question, but you will get a personalized answer directly from me to the question you ask. So guys, uh, consider joining and see you again next time on Monday and then Thursday again and Monday and Thursday until the end of the world. See you guys. Good night. Three people still watching. Thank you guys. Sleep well. And I will be going to TikTok now. So if you want to continue chatting with me, uh, I'm on TikTok in like five minutes. Bye.